So I thought we would talk a little bit about lysine and um, it's a pretty cool amino acid and I know a few people in my life who take it and it's like these are mostly people who like have five to six different supplements um they take all the best supplements um and they're you know just very health conscious um this is pretty much one of those amino acids that uh is usually in people's arsenal and um i'm starting to take it and uh gonna definitely see how you know my skin changes my body changes um the longer i'm on it but i thought i'd make a video just explaining what all it is and what all it does um so if you were to google lysine right now the first thing that's going to pop up is uh what it does for cold sores um cold sores fever blisters what, whatever you call them um it's something that's really really popular for um, helping people especially people who just have re reoccurring outbreaks it helps um basically not have one at all that's if these people are taking the lysine like every day like a thousand to two thousand milligrams and then also for people who do have a breakout it helps um, it not to spread and it like helps to shorten the duration and so if you look online it's going to say okay it might help it maybe helps um, with cold sores and they've honestly like i think they've done a lot of studies on it but like no one's still like saying 100 percent it works and if you look especially like on amazon reviews for some of these lysine, lysine products you'll notice you know some people are like oh my gosh this works 100 percent. i'm so glad i found this and a lot of people are using it for that purpose um and then some are like nope it did not work uh for further cold sore anyways so um you get both and both what i've seen when i'm going through reviews um because all the reviews are just all together um people say uh to take like over 5,000 milligrams so some people are like taking 8,000 milligrams of it during an outbreak and that's how they're getting it to slow down or to start um healing quicker and uh, basically it's like they'll kind of do what you do with vitamin C you take 2,000 milligrams 2,000 milligrams 2,000 milligrams and like you have it like spread out throughout the day and so it definitely seems to be like um, you know a rhyme and a reason to how to take it and um, who's having the most I guess beneficial results with it if you're taking it for that um, another thing lysine does and um it helps you to absorb calcium iron and zinc which is extremely important for your immune system and your immune health and so i think this is why i know a lot of people who just have it in their arsenal of you know five to six different supplements and vitamins that they're taking a day and uh, they make sure that they get that in there um also it promotes collagen growth this is what i'm most excited about it promotes collagen growth and it heals wounds faster encourages skin renewal um which to me that just means uh, helps increase cell turnover so your skin isn't holding on to as many dead skin cells and so you're going to be looking brighter and that's one of the uh, benefits to it says you know healthy glowy skin so it definitely does wonders for skin and um yeah that's basically what i'm looking to see a huge change with also it produces enzymes and antibodies boosts the immune system and it treats hormonal acne so you know right there i'm like yes <laughs> yes all of that now back to how it affects hormones this is really interesting um it's been tested and you know the science is there to prove that this is true that it lowers stress so people who are taking like 2500 milligrams daily um, when they had their cortisol levels tested um, they were significantly lower and basically cortisol is the stress hormone and so it gets that lowered um, so it does have an effect on hormones now for people who have hormonal acne I'm not quite sure what it's doing if, if it's lowering if it's balancing if it's upping one hormone I'm not sure but um, you will see I did anyways in just different brands on Amazon of lysine, different reviews. A lot of people were talking about, oh my gosh, it cleared up my skin. And a lot of people were like, the acne on my chin has gone away. And a lot of people were praising it for what it did for their hormonal acne. So I'm extremely excited for that. Also, it is used to lower high blood pressure. So if you have an issue with that, if you have diabetes, this is one of those supplements that could really, really benefit you. Um, I didn't go too far down the diabetes rabbit hole, but um, if you do have diabetes, I would definitely say, you know, look into this. Also, oh, 
So this is another thing. So you're gonna see a lot of people talking about cold sores. You're gonna see a lot of people talking about the immune health because um, of how it builds the antibodies and enzymes. But also you're gonna see a lot of bodybuilders and people who are into um, sports um, taking this. Um, basically, if you are like going, if you're a bodybuilder, not even a bodybuilder, you just like really go hard with your workouts, it basically um, lowers your recovery time. And so after workout, you're not like hobbling around and you can have more energy and go just as hard your next workout. So um, yeah, it helps just with the fatigue afterwards and cutting down recovery time but most importantly and this goes for uh, people who are working out and building lean muscle mass and also for elderly people too who also take this it prevents the loss of lean muscle which is really 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 important if you've ever been working out like for a solid like let's say six to eight weeks and all of a sudden let's say you get sick, you're out, or you're just not able to work out as much, you'll notice you kind of lose your gains um, when you're stationary. This helps slow that down, that process down, so your body isn't, um, you know, using up all of your muscle stores, because we all know um, when it comes to uh, burning energy, your body usually goes to burning your muscle first and then your fat after, <laughs> which sucks. So it will uh, build lean muscle mass, um, it'll prevent the loss of it as well. Um, another thing it does, it's great for osteoporosis because it helps you absorb more calcium. So if you're already having bone loss, um, sometimes for some people that's just more of a, the older we get, the less calcium we're getting. And so this, you know, helps. Um, the healthy glowy skin. I did see some information on hair growth and Not like a lot most everyone was talking about the other benefits that they got for it from it um, But for hair growth I would for me I don't know yet because I have not I mean I've only been on it for a few days But I would say it's probably the collagen production that is making a difference in the health and um, just how hair is growing and um now for us in particular, um, being on our skincare journeys and everything that we're taking, especially the vitamin C, vitamin C and um, lysine are two of the most important building blocks of collagen. So 100% I think I'm going to see some changes like within probably the next week to two weeks of taking this. Um, and I'm assuming if you're doing liposomal vitamin C or vitamin C IV drips, you're going to see a, no a difference too. Um, it's I'm assuming it's gonna just like, you know, blow up my collagen production, um, which I'm very, very excited for. And um, this is just something that we will see over time, but for now, those are just some of the benefits, and that's like a quick rundown of all of it does. I mean, from reducing stress to hair growth to building muscle and then um you know being able to treat fever blisters i mean lysine does a lot so i'm really excited and i will give you guys an update um once i'm a few weeks in right now it's only a few days so i can't talk about it from personal experience but um we'll just see how it goes